So now, once we have seen how to achieve inheritance in Kotlin, it's time to see how constructor behaves in inheritance. Now if you remember, in case of Java, whenever you create object of subclass, it also call a constructor of superclass if you remember. Now until let's see what happens here. So first of all, I'm using a primary constructor anyway, right? So we have a primary constructor here. And so let me just define that constructor. We'll say, let me just define a primary constructor here. And we'll also use a init method where, where I can define that. Okay, so this is the, so this is, when you say init, it means it is the primary constructor block, right? So what I will do here is I will say print ln. And in this print ln, I will print in human right and then in here as well so i will say alien also has a primary constructor which has a init method and okay what's that that is extra now and here as well i will be printing print ln and i'll be printing in alien now what happens you know when you call this code i mean okay let's 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 not print a uh, thing here let's ignore thing if I create object of alien, what it should call? Now logically when you say when you create object of a class, it will call the constructor of that class first, right? So it should print in alien. So that's what we're expecting here. But if you're coming from Java background, you know that it also calls a constructor of superclass. Now the, the concept there is using the super method. Every constructor in, 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 uh, in Java has a super method in that. If you don't know about that, I do have a video on super keyword in my YouTube channel, which is which in Java playlist, you can just search that. But if, if you know that concept is very simple, it, it will call the super class constructor with the help of super method or super keyword. Now here, if I run this code, logically it should print in aliens, right? Do we have a super concept here? Let's run this code. Let's see what happens. If I run this code, you can see we are getting in human and in alien both. Now this is the same output you will be getting in Java. Of course, right? Uh, I mean, when you convert your, when you compile your Kotlin file, it's get converted into a Java, in, uh, into a byte code. So of course it will behave like Java code, right? But what is happening here? Is it working with super keyword here? Uh, not exactly. I mean, do we do have super, super keyword in Kotlin, but then what is happening here is when you call, when you create object of alien, it first, it first calls the constructor of alien itself, but then it says, okay, when you call the constructor of alien, first you should be calling a constructor of human. That's what you're doing here, right? You're saying human and you're giving a round bracket, which means you will be calling a primary constructor of superclass here, right? And then it will, first it will print in human. Once the execution is over here, then it will continue with its own execution. And that's why it is printing in human and in alien. Now, what if you have a parameter here? Let's say if you have age colon int. Now your human primary class, I mean your uh, your your super class constructor, I mean the primary constructor, it takes a parameter. And you can see we are getting error here. Now your super class constructor takes a parameter. So of course you have to pass a parameter here. Okay, we can pass any parameter. We can pass 20, your job is done. Now what will happen is whatever value, when you call the constructor here, when you by passing a, I mean alien, it will call this constructor first and this human will get that value of age. We can also print the age value here. We can say in, I mean, we can print age and that's, that's fine. Let's run this code. Let's see what happens now. It should work. And you can see it is printing in human 20 and in, in alien and th that's how it works. Okay. Now what if you have this default constructor here and now you want to, uh, you want to accept these values from here. Let's say if I pass the age from here itself. Now, of course, we don't have any constructor which takes uh, which takes a uh, which takes 20, right? So what can be done here is we have to accept that value. We have to say int, I mean age int, and then we have to pass that age here. So what we are doing is whenever value whenever you pass a value 20, it goes to your primary constructor of alien, and then it it sends the primary constructor of human, right? And that's how we can achieve super method in in Kotlin. Again, when you convert this into Java code, that's what we get right? But then here, this is how you pass. You, you pass the parameter here that goes into human constructor and that's, that's how it is assigned. Let's run this code just to verify. And I'm, expe I'm expecting the same output now. And yes, we got in human 20 and in alien. So that's how you can use constructors in, in inheritance. So remember this part, whenever you create object of subclass, it calls the constructor of superclass as well. So yeah, that's it. That's it from this video. Uh, and in the next video, we'll see uh, something more about uh, Oops concept in Kotlin.